Welcome back to The Edge. How big of a ranking factor is speed? Spoiler warning, not very big at all. Uh, also, there are local justifications, and we're going to tell you how you can influence those on Google My Business. Android users can finally get on Clubhouse without using their secret iPads. Shame. The shame. But is it too late? You're listening to News from The Edge for the week of May 10th, 2021, here on Edge of the Web. From the edge of the web studios, here's what we're looking at this week. All the uh, closet Android uh, users with their with their iPads, just so they could get on uh, Clubhouse, right? That's 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 what we're talking. about. We're outing them right now. I may have Big an up. iPad, <laughs> <laughs> but your but you, your your kids knew about it, right? Oh yeah, and they they that's their um, Among Us machine. Oh boy! They said, can can you can you give us Among Us? I was like, you want the iPad? Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Man, that 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 thing's a a, a uh, that, that is the corrupter of the youth right there. That Minecraft, I tell you. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Both of those, like, and then all the YouTube videos of Among Us and Minecraft. Oh yeah, and then I'll have additional uh, YouTubes to be able to watch somebody actually play that. It's like Inception. Like three levels deep, I, I, I bring that to my kid all the time. Going, why are you liking to like liking in the, the the watching of somebody else enjoying somebody else play? Right. What the heck is that? Well, and like just hearing those people talk too. They're like it's so quick and like I don't know. It's just and, and a, then it's I, a style and, of, of video that I don't get exactly. Into at all. Well, I, I, I figured it out actually because I was watching one uh, kind of marginally, and I heard my kid actually use the same euphemisms that he had just picked up off of a video. Oh, no. Now he's learning a lingo that he wants to actually drop in front of his peers. That's what it's all about. <laughs> all about fitting in. All about fitting in. Especially with Minecraft, because the little blocks and the... the, the yeah. All right. This is Edge of the Web Radio. I'm your host, Aaron Sparse, owner of Site Strategics. Every week, we bring you amazing guests to talk to, uh, talk with, and uh, uh, talk about trending digital marketing topics. Each week, we're covering the SEO uh, topics of, of the week and digital marketing news. And that's separate from our weekly interview. So you want to check out who we're talking to regularly in our interview uh, side of the equation. But each Tuesday, we're dropping news that you can use. Well, I can't probably say that because uh, Mary, Marie Haynes will bark at me if I say, say something like that. Anyway, it's Digital Marketing News, and we focus primarily on SEO because this is what we love. So check out everything over at edgeofthewebradio.com. That's edgeofthewebradio.com. This is the Site Strategics Digital Marketing News Desk of Edge of the Web. Uh, joining me to get his take on the news, although it's been a pretty slow news week so far, is Morty Oberstein, SEO liaison at Wix. What's happening in Morty's world today? A lot of, what do you mean, slow week in the news? SMX has the lowest rates of the uh, of the season available <laughs> on Search Engine Land by uh, by somebody over there. <laughs> a lot of good news. Uh, SCJ's got you know five ways to build backlinks, six ways to build backlinks, and seven ways to build backlinks. <laughs> Is that like six-minute abs and seven-minute abs? Right. So there's that. Get that joke? Lot, that was uh, something else. about Mary. Oh, nice. No. <laughs> no? No. That was a deep cut, nah, too. No, super deep. Wow. Too deep. Too deep. All right, pulling back. So yeah, lots of lots of news happening. Yeah, and uh, you know, honest, lots, honestly, lots we should be <laughs> we should be covering every. No, not really. No, not that one. No, no, no not that yeah. one either. It's it's been a little it's been a little thin. <laughs> yeah. Like my hair. It's been oh, thin. see, see, he oh. did that. He he fell on his own sword. I was about to I was about to go there, but he he helped me. I beat you to it. You did because my, I did. The, I did my masochistic self beat you to it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yep. Well, uh, Morty's uh, late SEO liaison with Wix. Anything happening on the Wix front that you want to? Oh uh, yeah, about? we uh, we released a new um, an accessibility wizard. You can actually read about it on Search Engine Journal. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. there. It's basically it'll audit your site, pull out where you're missing alt text, pull out where your color contrast is off, a bunch of many other things. So cool. check it out at Search Engine Journal. It's a pretty. I use it. It's a pretty cool tool. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. My and, site was not accessible. I had a lot of things that are messed up. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. I fixed it because I have a tool. Exactly. You got a tool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk about uh, some SEO uh, news here that we could find this week. Um, over at Search Engine Roundtable by Barry Schwartz, uh, Google talks hypothetically about speed as a ranking factor. And uh, spoiler word, it's kind of small. 
Uh, Google's John Mueller, Gary Yeesh, and Martin Split actually uh, released their last, their latest uh, search off the record podcast. It's always funny to listen to those guys go at each other. Uh, they pretend to create a search engine named Steve. All right, and discuss how they would actually build it out. One of the topics that they spent a lot of time on was the topic of page speed, and obviously it's tied into the upcoming page experience update. Uh, I think we're talking about June, or or I think uh, the early part of uh, maybe August actually for a full rollout. Full rollout by August. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And how much it would be weighted. And they actually uh, brought in uh, a number of examples. One of them, uh, they, uh, I think Martin was actually referring to uh, HTTPS as a factor. And they were also talking about rendering speed. Where would you measure what? And ultimately, it got down to um, saying that's a little bit bigger factor than a tiebreaker. Tie but they but they are still lessening the, the uh, potential... Uh, uh, scrutiny of this being a sizable factor. I mean, all the SEOs are getting around core web vitals. There's a huge amount of conversation around it. And I mean, Marty, I just harken back to a couple of our conversations recently. There's so much hype about something that that, that really is, has been, has been reduced. Google has actually been saying regularly that it's not as big as uh, what you guys are making out to be, right? I first off, SEOs would never be hyperbolic about anything, so I don't know what you're talking about. Please, um, I would imagine. Like I, again, in my opinion is there's still a lot of things that Google needs to work out here. So right. I would be surprised if the the uh, June, the full August rollout date comes to fruition. I would imagine it's like the mobile first index, mm -hmm. and it is getting pushed back, pushed back, and pushed back. But hey, if you're a betting, there should be a line on this. There should be an SEO betting pool about when it actually comes out. Oh, that's great. That would be great. Is this legal? Can you can you gamble on SEO? As long as you do it in Doge, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Doge betting, right? Right. Um, oh, is it, isn't SEO always a gamble? Thing they did. No, well, SEO is a gamble. No? Oh, there you go. See? You just pay. It's like roulette with your site. Well, Google rank me. I don't know. Um, it is interesting what they did here. I don't know how you, you could parse this both ways. You could say, hey, they're saying that speed is not um, as important as some, maybe you might think it is. Sure. But they're also saying that tiebreakers happen more often than you might think they happen. That's right. So everybody's right. <laughs> it's an all skate, really. I, I, you know, how do you slice that one? And, and I think by listening to the podcast, I, I was able to take something else a little bit differently out, out of this is that there were so many, they didn't say it depends, but there was a lot of depends really about, about this. Uh, what do you measure? Do you measure the, the actual rendering speed or do you remember, do you measure the connection that that person actually has as opposed to the server connection? There were a lot of different, where, where does the measurement actually exist? And, um, again, they, they, they came back to, to this as not a, a very strong signal at all. And I think we just want to put that cautionary tale out there. Yeah, there's tiebreakers all the times, right? But, but you should be paying attention to those tiebreakers across the board, not just for page speed. Page speed. Uh, right. It should also be you know, content value. You should be looking at a number of different factors. But when it gets down to it, don't be hyperbolic. Don't be reactionary. Uh, know your scores. Know that you should be doing it regardless of an SEO signal. And I think that's kind of the the, yeah. the, the place where I land is that if you're actually messing with people's user experience, you got a bigger a bigger uh, uh, problem ahead of you because somebody's going to bounce off. I mean, they're going to be bouncing off more than than uh, <laughs> than you're wanting them to just because. They're, the digital, the, the new media audience is savvy and they're annoyed whenever they got to be shifted around on a page just because you're clicking something uh, a couple of times because the site's not responding correctly. So, Right. Also, make it make your site load faster so that Google can save some money. Well, there's that. Oh, no. See, there, there's the, uh, really have, have, have they actually discussed that in in? No, I mean, they discussed that in public, please. I'm sure they have discussed it. <laughs> I'm not saying this. By the way, like, what's wrong with that? Like, if, if every company is trying to cut down costs, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, so um, make sure you, you reduce your you reduce your your speed down, so you're not going to be taxing the largest company on the face of the planet's speed to actually render a, a page. Now you got that right. Now we're on the same page. <laughs> All right. By so the, oh, go ahead. 
Oh, right. no, I was going to say, I wonder, you know, I always take these things with a grain of salt. I think there's, yeah, there's a lot of tiebreakers. They happen more often than you think. Now, mm-hmm. is Google saying that because that's true? Or is Google saying that so you don't walk away thinking, hey, forget site speed? I don't know. I don't know. Is this like a Jedi mind trick? Yeah. This is not the core web vitals you were looking for, right? I don't understand that reference. Did you explain it? <laughs> I can't translate it to baseball, so no. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> <laughs> you gotta think it still matters, though, because you can't have amazing content with 15 megabyte photos all over the place, making the page the slow signal. Unless world. you're a wedding yeah. photographer. So, by the way, sure. that's a thing. There was a site I was talking to where they're a grocery store. And they they have all of their images, all of all of their products load on the homepage, which sounds insane. Mm-hmm. But they said it increases their conversions by I'm like tenfold there. when they do that. What do they do, by the way? In order, there's a lot of input delay because they're serving so much at one shot. So they throw up an interstitial, so you can't interact with the site until you click through the interstitial. By the time you do that, everything loaded. Hmm. Part of the performance update. Is it interstitial? Right, right. So it's like I don't even know where, where do you start with that? No, you don't. I mean, I mean, there's there's no. I mean, there's so many different variables, and a lot of it depends on the type of content they're actually loading, right? And and the value of having all those pictures there for for that consumer to be able to sift through. I mean. I, I, that's a I, I, I weighty argument to say, you know what, just be fast. Well, they're not saying that, obviously, but it, it get, kind of boils down to that, right? Yeah, well, they, they've talked about this. I think someone asked him, well, doesn't it depend on site type? And John Mueller said, nope, it does not. Hmm. I think we actually talked about this on this podcast. Yeah, we did. Point. Yeah, I, I, I listened to it somewhere. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> don't, remember, don't remember actually having that conversation, but I did remember listening to the con- Oh, that's, that's freaky. All right. That is weird. Okay. <laughs> Truly is. Uh, over at Moz, uh, here's something freaky for you. Uh, from Miriam Ellis, local justifications are a big deal, and you can influence them. Google wants its SERPs, and we don't want our SERPs to stand out as the places where people can find exactly what they're looking for. And uh, Google's coming at this goal with several different angles, but there's one particular that, uh, that they, she wanted to actually show, and it has to do with local businesses and local justification. So what is a local justification? Basically, in Google search, uh, or I should say in Google My Business, <clears throat> there are a number of additional uh, variables that are added at the end of a business listing that you're as you're looking for particular products. Uh, Google's actually letting you know whether or not these things are available. And there's a lot of different type of local very uh, justifications. Uh, so she was actually in in her uh, in Miriam's uh, example looking for accent chairs, corte, madera, whatever that is. Uh, but it actually shows Google My Business listing where uh, there's an additional justification that this chair is actually sold at this location. There's Ethan Allen, Crate and Barrel, Pottery Barn, and and the justifications tied into you. You search for this, and evidently Google knows that this product is at that location. Um, that's pretty insightful, pretty interesting, and there's a lot of different justifications. There are uh, scenarios in which you, you can see review justifications. We've all seen them. We just didn't know what to call them, actually. Review justifications, uh, 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 post justifications, uh, service justifications, and uh, even website inclusion, uh, website content justifications is that their website includes this particular information about it. So Google's reading a lot of different information regarding your business and and tying it into that user's search intent. So it's a, it's kind of like a site link without paying for a site link. Uh, well, not, not really. You never really pay for a site link. So why not even say that? Point is, it's, it's getting more and more granular to be able to match content, uh, uh, intent. So that said, Morty, what do you think about justifications? Are you justified? I was surprised. It's, I'm, I'm very, I'm completely justified. By the way, Miriam writes a lot of really good content. So mm-hmm. she's one of the people you should keep an eye out for. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying that. And there's not many of them. Um, yeah, I mean, look, they, she had Dr. Pete run a ton of, um, they looked through the Moz cast data set, which is something like 10,000 keywords. Mm-hmm. I was surprised. I mean, obviously I've seen them before. Right? I was surprised to see how often they show up. Me too, yeah. What is interesting. And she pointed out that they don't, 
it doesn't have to be you might it doesn't have to be the particular landing page that you have about that particular product. You can pull it from anywhere on your site. Right. Which is also interesting. It is. I kind of view it as it's one of those things where, yeah, look, if you're selling accent chairs, you would hope there's content on your website that talks about accent chairs to pull it in there. It's one of those things to me where if it's not going to convince me to buy from you or go to that particular listing, but right. if I see two other ones that have it and you don't, then I might ignore you. Yeah, it's almost like uh, a fear of missing out type of thing. It's, yeah. By omission, uh, you're actually doing yourself some some uh, non-justification to be in there, right? Yep. So, so you can so do you can have it from a Google post, an old Google post. Yep. Yeah, it's really interesting. So Morty, let me ask you a question. I saw this while we were scrolling through it. On this page here, do you think Crate and Barrel has an advantage since it shows that they are in stock? Ooh, yeah, also yeah, interesting. Absolutely. I was going to say that. Yes. Yes. I, I think that could that could hurt. Absolutely. It doesn't say that Ethan Allen and Pottery Barn are out of stock, just that they're sold here. All right. All right. So now I'm going to put a flag on the play here. How in the world do they know that it's in stock? Right. And do you realize what a what if there's an omission, what you're actually doing to that business whenever you're lined up business by business by business and the in stock wherever that data is coming from, is winning the day. I mean, the metrics aren't ever going to be there that, that anybody will be able to see that particular factor. However, it's pretty well, important, right? And what do you do when it's wrong? Exactly. It says online you have them in stock. <laughs> right. Some angry customers now. Yep. And guess yep. where they're going to go? They're going to go. So you're, you're going to have a nice little uh, review justification in there pretty darn <laughs> soon. <laughs> I would imagine that that's coming from there's that there's a product page on that on accent shares and it's saying it's in right. stock. Right. Why Google didn't pull it from the other sites from their product page, I don't know. Maybe they don't have a product page about it. Yep. Yes, yeah, so that's so, that's that's where you'd assume. Yes, <clears throat> absolutely. But if they are actually going further out of their lens and if it's not feed from the site, it, it'd have to be. It'd have to be regulated like that because literally yeah. if it started to pay attention to what people were saying, yeah, they have this in the stock from social media, for example. No, oh, yeah, that would, no, that'd be terrible. Anyway, yeah, you're right. Mozcast, uh, they uh, the uh, local localized keywords returned a local pack of 41 percent that actually had justifications uh, on there. Actually, no, 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 justifications about 57 percent of the uh, local packs uh, that that were uh, represented there. So that's that's a lot of local listings that actually had one uh, one or more of those justifications in there. So. Give the, get, go, go over to the, the full article. We're not doing it nearly as uh, enough justice here, but it was very well laid out. Uh, go check it out on edgeoftheweb.radio.com. Uh, you see uh, all the links to our articles. But uh, pay attention to that. It's free differentiating uh, 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 on your Google My Business uh, platform and uh, anything and everything in that local, especially that mobile window. If you can actually get your data right there, you're going to, I mean, you're going to be able to win the day. They're giving it, giving you the opportunity right there. All right. You know who else has the opportunity? Well, I, well, you know what? I'll, I'll change that around. First and foremost, we want to make sure that, you know, uh, we're very proud to have Site Strategics as our sponsor of Edge of the Web News. Uh, we're pioneers in the agile digital marketing and uh, methodology. Our core specialties are technical SEO, including core web vitals, SEM, social media, conversion rate optimization, results based results based marketing that actually works. We've also developed a unique omni channel media marketing and content curation process guided by our weekly R&D from Edge of the Web interviews. We incorporate the best techniques for content broadcast strategy and execution. So if you're interested in what we can do for you, give us a call at 877 SEO for web or 877-736-4932. There you go. Got through it. Ha. All right. Back to my 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 segue verb is who else has the opportunity right here? Oh my gosh, Android users have the opportunity to actually be on Clubhouse and not have to use their their hidden iPad. <laughs> so it's taking some time, no doubt, scrambling at Clubhouse HQ. But finally, an Android version of the audio social platform is now available in limited beta for now, uh, with a wider launch coming soon. So, Jacob, you've already gone in there and downloaded it, and you're running it, yeah. Yeah, I haven't joined any rooms since getting it. Uh, I got it. I got downloaded right before we did the show today. To see oh, cool! Work. So you haven't joined any rooms? I don't no, think. Really? No, on the Android. 
I on the I, Android. Yeah, yeah. No, not I, even I've been room open room. mic SEO. Oh, not on the Android. Android. That room? No, no, I will be though. <laughs> no, I don't have to Great. remember to bring my secret iPad to work anymore just to get on the open mic <laughs> SEO. No, you don't. No, you can. At be... ten o'clock Eastern time on Wednesdays. Right. Wow! See, so he he just jumped in there. He didn't even give him the, give him the lane. He he, he takes the lane. <laughs> I, will, from I will take this lane and I will widen it. Now they do have some some significant limitations at launch, including the lack of options to follow topics. <laughs> like wait, limitations, you can't hear anything. There's no audio. <laughs> you probably should have tested that out. Inability to create or manage clubs. Uh, no capacity to update your name or update username. Uh, the in-app functions, among others, including listen. So, Somebody rushed this out. Yeah, they did. <laughs> what you're saying is I still need to go home at night and use my secret iPad to make sure it's all yeah, set up. You like, really do. Why is, do you have a secret iPad that that you realize this is a podcast every, and there are many, many yeah, listeners? Absolutely. And now it's not a, why would you I don't understand. I just because I don't this up. I just I just don't have an iPhone. Should so, we have an intervention here? I mean, every droid user really does need to have some sort of iOS device I, to be with the rest of us here. <laughs> I have a couple different tablets throughout the house yep. between myself, my wife, and the kids. iPad is by far the fastest and most responsive. Absolutely. No yes. doubt. This podcast has been sponsored by Apple. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, 1-800-APPLE for I, 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 I got a friend of mine that is a zealot and will not have an, uh, an Apple device in his house whatsoever on principle because it's a closed system. You can't get, you can't replace the battery, this, that, and the other. You can't update the memory. Uh, well, I, I and, replace the iPad battery. Oh, you can do that. <laughs> it took me an hour and a half and didn't turn on afterwards. I had to do it a second time. <laughs> I just I just think I just think it's funny that you call you call this person a zealot, because in my mind a zealot would be looking to the comet, trying to drink some Kool-Aid or to get onto the comet. That's a zealot. <laughs> Someone who doesn't want to buy well, he, too he, far? He, he he a little bit too far. Yep, too <laughs> he, far. he was he was he was adamant that they would not cross his uh, threshold until his teenage daughter went out, earned oh, her geez. own money. Right, and, and got, her, a, got herself an iPhone and iWatch, and wow, uh, she uh, drank the Kool Aid. She really did. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, the oh, the 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 the, the, the his face is, is oh, it was priceless. I, I literally had to do a little uh, iOS dance right in front of him. All right, yeah. So it's on Clubhouse. That's good. <laughs> Great, uh, and Android. Yep, fantastic. Wow, what a slow week in the news. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, by the way, bad. you also know the slow week of the news for them because, like, is it too late? Like, so dramatic <laughs> in the headline. No, it's not too late. What People is, are still going to use Clubhouse. What is going on with this week? There's just like like nothing. There's just somebody needs to have a <sighs> kerfuffle. All right, SEOs out there, you're hyperbolic on a regular basis. Get pissed off about something, people. All right. So we can so yeah, but yeah, yeah, but just not like just leave us out of it. Yeah, yeah, don't you know, don't Let's, trash us. Yeah, we, leave, leave, yeah. <laughs> we do plenty of that by ourselves. <laughs> All right. So SEO chat, hashtag SEO chat is on oh, yeah, every right. Thursday at 1 p.m. So uh we're the gonna, day after open mic SEO. On which Clubhouse. is on uh, 10 a.m. Which is that Wednesday at 10 a.m. Anything else you want to mention? <laughs> really? Yeah, I don't know. Is that where news is gonna be this week? <laughs> I got more going on in the whole industry. <laughs> So what are you talking about? Uh, yeah, yeah, this week? we're talking with uh, Wix's own lead technical SEO. Ooh, cool. My brother from a Moroccan mother, not the Eli Melech, who is. I just, we have a very dysfunctional relationship. <laughs> okay. It's it's okay. A funny story. Can I tell you a funny story? Is it you, you you would of say course. it anyway. Of course. We were sitting it's down news. with Google. So we were sitting down with Google at the Wix office. It was Daniel Weisberg and I forgot the other person's name. They were on Zoom. Daniel was actually in the Wix office. Mm -hmm. And Nati and I have like a thing. Whenever we're in a room together, we're on a Zoom call together. Mm -hmm. We have both very, very similar sarcastic personalities. Oh, boy. So it's just endless like banter back and forth. <laughs> and Google was looking at like, what the hell is going on here? Because <laughs> it's like, it gets a little out of control sometimes. So what I'm trying to say is SEO chat. Uh, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time this Thursday, which will be about automation, APIs, and SEO, mm -hmm. will be out of control. It'll be I, hilarious. I think I figured this out now, uh, Morty. I think you use these podcasts and these different chats to, to really kind of have a therapy session for yourself. So you go into your business meetings without having to be as sarcastic as you regularly Right. Are, Basically, right? unless Nati's there, in which case it happens anyway. 
I don't know where to go with this. He is okay, like, legit. He is like one of the smartest people I know, cool. and one of the most knowledgeable SEOs that I know. So check out SEO Chat on 1 p.m. Thursday. Absolutely, absolutely. All right. So uh, anything uh, that we want to share for the greater good of our audience today, except uh, the, the lack of news. Yeah, yeah. SMX they have the uh, the, the special rate. <laughs> <huh? laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we thought we were going to be able to have our our T shirt framed. Uh, by, yeah. All right. The frame just Dude, you gotta open it. The frame I can totally open, open it. it. Open it. Open right it. Here. See, this is this is where news is taking us. <laughs> right right here. here. There it is. There's there's Barry's shirt. Wait, 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 wait. Let's explain what it is. This is, an no. this is the uh, the shirt that Barry Schwartz <laughs> wore, didn't wash, signed. <laughs> Do we know he didn't wash it? <laughs> Sent to Jake. He just, the, the, he just pulled it out of his office. It looked like he like, went home. He, he went home, washed it, and brought it back to his office. No, he wore it for <laughs> SMX, left it in the office unwashed. Sounds good. <laughs> Do we know how long he wore it for? It could have been on for an hour, right? Could have been. Well, smell it. See you along. Oh, boy. So so I'm in a closed uh, studio room, so I don't have to get any type of whiffs or whaps here. This is an unboxing experience, unbagging experience, un an envelope. Ooh, oh, you that. put it into a bag. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Look. It's like wow, Barry. Good sealed. job, Barry. Oh, it's the original bag, too, I think. <laughs> Alistair Hawaiian shirt holiday summer apparel. Wow. Just to describe the shirt to uh, the people at home who are not um, watching on YouTube, Imagine again, I've described it like this before. Imagine you did LSD, designed a shirt, and put a cat on it. It's literally a shark vomiting a rainbow <laughs> with, a, with a cat and with a cat on it and, wearing a cowboy hat. And Barry signed the hat. <laughs> oh my lord. It smell is, it. Is, smell it. <laughs> smell it. There's a signature right there. How does there. it smell? It is, it's, it it is not like, new. Like rainbow. <laughs> it's not new. Is this new? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be up on the wall yep. next week. And guys. the frame just walked into my office, I think. So. Yes. Were, were, there, were there also a pair of bonus underwear in there? Oh, my no, gosh. Dude. All right. Cut his mic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's it for the slow news week uh, here on Edge. <laughs> we appreciate uh, your, 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 your patience, audience, as we, we do what we just did here. And uh, please forgive <laughs> us and, and tune in next week, if you would. We're trying to hit that 30 minute post. <laughs> I'm trying to. Uh, check out the uh, <laughs> the interview uh, the interview uh, podcast this week. We're talking to Andrew Optimize. He was a fantastic Ooh, conversation. He good had, fellow. Oh, yeah. He's, he's, good he's solid. Good fellow. Had a great conversation about uh, getting back to meetings again, right? And by the way, SMX has some great deals going on. So They have great deals. It's on their website. Just scroll through there. It'll be probably the first or second article. <laughs> and the fifth. And the twelfth. <laughs> All right. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and get updated uh, whenever we drop our videos, including the the smell test that we just did with, uh, with Barry Schwartz's shirt. I actually said that in a podcast. All right. From all of us over at Edge, stay safe, stay well, and do not be a piece of cyber driftwood. We'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.